Europe. You know, that thing Belgium is in. <laughs> if, if you've watched the news at all lately, you cannot have missed what has been happening there. Europe's migrant crisis is getting worse by the day. A migrant crisis spiraling out of control. Hundreds of thousands of asylum seekers are risking everything. A human wave washing over Europe's southern shores. Hundreds of thousands of migrants have streamed into Europe, the largest influx there since the end of World War II. So, look, let's just take a step back, because, for the record, these people are coming from many different countries and fleeing everything from civil war to economic stagnation. And while each story is unique, many of them are heartbreaking. Nojin is 16 and from Kobane in Syria. Disabled from birth, she cannot walk and made the dangerous crossing from Turkey last week. I've been trying many things for, for the first time during this journey, like a train and, and a ship. Uh, so uh, I just enjoyed it. I didn't... You enjoyed it? Yeah. You're the first person I've met who said that. But to understand why, you must know the world she escaped from. Imagine you were 16 and you're always afraid to be dead at any minute. What is your dream? I have to be an astronaut to go out and see and find an alien. <laughs> yes. So I want to meet the Queen. Yes. For Najim, and so many like her, Europe has yet to create an effective system to process this influx of people. Every country has a different application process, and some are totally overwhelmed and underfunded. We actually got our hands on a couple of registration forms that were given to refugees upon arrival. This one was handed to a Syrian asylum seeker arriving in Greece on September the 5th. It tells him to return for registration on December the 21st. And that could be a tricky three-month wait, because he's not allowed to work in that time. And yet, that is nothing compared to this form given to an Iraqi refugee in Turkey, telling him to come back on June 15th of 2017. Which sounds bad, before you notice the pink sticky note added at the bottom, clarifying that his actual date will be February 19th, 2020. And that is ridiculous. These people can't go five years without working. They're refugees. Just listen to how she taught herself English. How did you learn to speak such good English? At home with my favorite TV show. What's yeah. that? It's Days of Our Lives with a, with a Sammy and just struggle. Yeah, I love them both. How can you not want this girl in your country? Disturbing cell phone video appears to show migrants at the main refugee camp here being fed like a herd of caged animals in a holding pen. It's a shocking video that has garnered attention from around the world. As waves of desperate migrants sprint from a holding camp in Hungary, a camera woman appears to trip a man running with his child in his arms. The woman also kicks other migrants as they run, including a young girl. Najin has been through enough, and any country would be lucky to have her. And I know lots of people still have fears. Fears that migrants will bankrupt social systems, which many studies show does not happen. Fears that migrants might have an ISIS member lurking among them, which there has been no credible example of. And no one is saying this is easy, but the fact it's so hard is not a reason to do less, it's a reason to do more. From countries expediting their application process, uh, to properly funding the UN High Commission for Refugees, whose fund for responding to Syrian refugees in neighbouring countries is less than half of where it needs to be, to simply, and I know this sounds crazy, just not kicking them when they're moving around. <laughs> and and it's a crazy idea, just rein your leg in.